Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this 36 watt LED bulb from QSun. Now I bought this from Handyman and it costs 679 peso. There's no discount or promo unfortunately, a lot of the other LED bulbs are on sale but this is the highest wattage LED bulb they have and no sale so that's the price. So I tested this out in the store and it's pretty much like looking into the sun. Um, it's meant to be 36 watts, a color temperature of 6000 K, E27 screw type of course, um, and voltage input of between 180 and 250 volts. Now, looking at it from the outside, I don't really like the look of it. It's, you know, it, this is more of the old style. I like the ones which have the ceramic finish. You know, they look really nice and modern. These old plastic ones, uh, you know, they're kind of ugly and it's kind of bulky. But it's 36 watts. It's not often that you're going to find an LED bulb that's that high wattage. Now, I was looking for a very specific type of bulb. I wanted it to be very bright. I didn't want it to waste too much power and I didn't want it to put off too much heat. So it basically had to be either LED or CFL. Now CFL bulbs are pretty energy efficient but they still get pretty hot, especially when the wattage gets higher. So it really had to be LED. Now this still does get pretty warm because you know that's 36 watts, but it wouldn't get as warm as say a 36 watt CFL bulb and I needed it to be in a single bulb, not by say three 10 watt bulbs. It had to be a single bulb as bright as possible. So let's hook this thing up and measure if it really is 36 watts. So now I've wired up this bulb holder straight to a two pin plug which goes into my watt meter. So let's screw in the bulb and I'll turn on the watt meter. Now since this does some averaging we're gonna have to leave it run for a minute or so to get an accurate reading. So let's turn it on. Now this light might blind the camera, so I'm probably going to try and cover it, or at least point it away. There we go. So you can see right now we're at 29.5 watts, and I'm going to let this run for a minute so we get an accurate reading. So the bulb is now been running for about five minutes. It's pretty warm. Uh, it does get kind of warm because obviously you've got quite a lot of LEDs there but we're only consuming 30 watts whereas this is meant to be a 36 watt bulb so obviously that's not true. Now at 30 watts we're probably about 12 or 13 percent below the rated output. It's not huge but you know it's enough to notice this is meant to be a 36 watt bulb but it's only 30 watts um, considering I'm planning to use this for something where I want as much light as possible from just one bulb. It's kind of annoying because you know you want it to be what it says it is which is 36 watts. Another thing is that there's a delay when turning this bulb on. It's not a huge delay but it's noticeable so listen for the click when I turn the watt meter on. See that? It was maybe a second delay, maybe a second and a half. Not huge, but it is noticeable. Uh, if you compare that with other LED bulbs, that it doesn't normally happen. So I'll show you as an example. As an example, I've got this Philips bulb here. I'll turn off this one and I'll swap them out. Okay, so this is a Philips LED bulb, and listen for the click when I turn on my watch meter. See that? Instantly on. Turn it off, turn it on, instant. So it doesn't have a delay like this one does. So let's open this bulb up and see what's actually inside. Now it took a bit of effort, but I eventually managed to remove this top cover, and here you can see the SMD LEDs. So you can see on this one it says 28th of October 2014. So I guess this has been sitting around for a while. And there's a total of 66 LEDs here. So let's undo these screws and take a look inside. So I can hear the heat sink inside moving around. So I assume that this PCB is screwed straight onto the heat sink. Okay, so it's connected for the PCB, and there's the heat sink. 
Now you can see there's actually no heat sink compound. It would probably be a nice extra if they added that in there just to make sure that the heat really does transfer from this main PCB up to the heat sink as efficiently as possible. You can see this is like a stacked layer kind of thing. It's got these tabs where each one fits into the other one. And kind of weird the way they've done this, but I guess it's okay um, as long as it works. It's not the thickest metal. It's pretty thin, easy to bend. But I assume it works, um, we'll see how hot the bulb really gets in actual use. So let's have a look at the actual driver which must be down here, let's see if we can remove this. So there we go, a little plastic cap that isolates the driver from everything else. There's not much in there by the looks of it. I don't think I'll be able to remove the board. No, so I can't remove the board. Um, I imagine that they put it in there and then put this on the outside and sort of welded or soldered it together. So I can't bring out the driver board. So I can't remove the driver board, but what we can see is a small transformer, a few capacitors, some uh, transistors on the bottom of the board. I zoom in. So there you go, that's inside the bulb. Now I've got to put this back together again. Okay, so after measuring the power usage, looking inside the bulb, testing it in the room, what do I think about this bulb from Qsun? Well, to be honest, I'm not that impressed. For a start, it's not 36 watts, it's 30 watts. Um, for some people, you might be thinking, oh, that's good, you're saving power, but no, you're not. That just means you've got six watts less light going in your room. And aside from that, when I compare this bulb which is consuming 30 watts against two Philips bulbs which are 10 watts each, so a total of 20 watts, the Philips ones seem to do just as good if not better. So that would lead me to assume that these LEDs or the driver inside is not very efficient. So I probably wouldn't recommend this product and I probably wouldn't ever buy this brand again because, you know, it's not what it says on the box and the design is not that great. You know, it kind of works, but it's not that great. I'd probably want to return this to Handyman, to be honest, because it's not what it says on the box, but I doubt they'd want to take it back after I've opened it up. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for similar videos in the future. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below.